to look at is partial reflection and partial transmission. That means what happens to a wave when it travels from one medium into another. In this case, I'm going from a material where the wave is traveling very quickly into a material where the wave is traveling slower. So if we were looking at a light wave, this would be a light wave going from a material where it's traveling fast, like air, into a material like water where it's traveling slower. When a wave crosses from one material into another, most of the wave may go into that material, but some of the wave is reflected. And what we want to look at is what happens to the wave when it goes in there, that's the transmission, and what happens to the reflected portion, that's the partial reflection. The way to remember this is that when a wave hits a fixed end, what comes back is out of phase, that means the opposite. So if I have a crest coming in here to a fixed end, what comes back is a trough. I'm going to use that to help me understand this. That's the only thing I have to really remember. So here's a wave traveling in somewhere where it's very fast. And we've got a formula that relates how fast a wave is traveling and the wavelength. What this tells us is if the wave gets slower, then the wavelength is going to get, get shorter. If the wave goes faster, the wavelength is going to get bigger. So here we have a wave going from fast to slow. What really happens is, as the wave goes from here to here, the leading front part of the wave goes into this material and starts traveling slower, while the back half of the wave is still in the material where it's traveling fast. As a result, this side slows down and this side's going quickly, they kind of squish together. I like to think of it sometimes in terms of cars on a road in a traffic jam. If you look at a traffic jam, you're driving along the highway, the cars are far apart, and then when the cars get to somewhere where there's a traffic jam and they slow down, the front car arrives at the traffic jam, the cars behind it are still going quickly, and the gap between the cars gets smaller. So the cars bunch up. Then when the cars get to after the car accident side of the road, where the traffic jam is finished, the cars speed up again. So the lead car takes off and travels quickly, the next car starts traveling quickly, but the gap between them increases. So this wave, comes in like this very quickly, hits the slow portion, and gets shorter. So I can draw what happens to the wave. It's going to get shorter. How much shorter? It depends on the change in speed. If it's traveling one meter per second here, and half a meter per second there, it's traveling half as fast, it's going to be half as long. The wavelength lambda has decreased. What about the reflected portion? When the wave gets here, yeah, some of it goes into there, but some of it is reflected. Well, when a wave goes and hits a fixed end, I get it returned out of phase. This wave is going into something that it's traveling slower in. It's more resistive to the wave traveling in it. That's sort of like hitting a little bit of a fixed end. It's having trouble getting into that material. That's why it's slowing down. Since it's uh, going into a material it's having trouble getting into, then it will reflect similar to a fixed end. So the wave, I will expect the reflected portion to be out of phase. It'll stay the same length as in here, so it'll be about that long. It won't be very big. This amplitude and these amplitudes add up. So this is the reflected portion, this is the transmitted portion. So what happens when a wave goes from slow to fast? Well, if the wave goes from slow to fast, when the wave gets faster, this part enters the fast part first, and so it goes quickly. This part is still in the slow part, so it's going slow. The wave kind of spreads out. So as the wave goes from slow to fast, it spreads out. So I would expect if the speed here is twice the speed here, then I could figure out that the wavelength here would be twice as big. You can always use this formula to figure out exactly what the wavelength is. So here's my wave. It's going to arrive in this material. It's going to get longer because it's going faster. It's going to stay on the same side because when a wave goes from one material to another, it does not change to the opposite. Um, now the reflected portion. Well, it's going from slow to fast. That's not like hitting a fixed end. Hitting a fixed end is having trouble going into a material. So it's not having trouble getting into this material, so it will reflect like an open end. It will reflect opposite to what this would do. And from an open end, you get something that hits an open end comes back in phase. So I would expect the reflective portion to be in phase and the same wavelength as it was in this material. So these are the only two cases you have. A wave going from faster to slower, you get transmitted wave, 
and a reflected wave that's out of phase from slower to fast, you get an increase in wavelength and the reflected wave is uh, in phase.